Hi guys, my name is Luke Bowditch and today we're going to be having a talk about Complete9 from Native Instruments. Native Instruments is a software and hardware company founded in Berlin in 1996. They're known as one of the leaders in the field due to the quality and uniqueness of their products. You may also be familiar with NI through their series of DJ products Tractor or their Groove Monster Machine. I bought my first piece of NI software, Battery, in the 90s and I was blown away by the quality of the NI sound then and they've only gone from strength to strength. But what is Complete? Well, Complete is a suite or collection of audio software used for music production, live performance and sound design. And I produce a huge range of production software and sample libraries and Complete is their collective works. Many of the included programs will run standalone, but most often they're used as plugins within other software. VST, AU and AAX plugin formats are supported. So Complete can work with most DAWs, including Ableton Live, Logic, Cubase and Pro Tools. The package is Mac and Windows compatible. In addition, both offer seamless integration for machine users and access to the online community forums and user library where you'll find loads of user generated reactor, absinthe and contact patches. You'll find NI software in the studios of everyone from Trent Reznor to Kraftwerk, Jean-Michel Jarre to Bonobo, Boys Noise, Liam Howlett, Chase and Status, and even Metallica's Kirk Hammett. Complete is enormous. Way too much to get through without this video being at least 10 hours long. So we're just going to step through some of the highlights of the flagship products and some of the new additions in Complete 9. Good way to do this is to break it down into three sections. Synthesizers, sampling and effects. But first let's get up and running and talk about installation. Complete comes in two different flavours. Complete and Complete Ultimate. The libraries are both enormous. A whopping 120 gig for complete and a staggering 370 gig for complete ultimate. So let's talk about installation. So complete 9 comes on 12 DVDs like so and then ultimate comes on this cool USB hard drive. Makes installation really easy. That's just because the library is enormous so you just plug it in and leave it alone. Once you've got it installed, you just go to the Native Instruments Service Center, which is an application that's part of the package, and register it and download any updates. Okay, so let's have a look at the package itself now that it's installed. Firstly, we'll have a look at synthesizers. All the NI classics are included in Complete. Absinthe, which is great for textures and soundscapes. FM8, frequency modulation synth based on the Yamaha DX7. Massive, which you will have heard in loads of dubstep records. And Reactor. Uh, which is certainly one of my favourites. Reactor is a modular environment where you can build just about anything. Uh, this is where NI turns it over to the people really. You can use Reactor as a player or you can build your own and the community section of NI's website has a big database of downloadable instruments and effects made by users. I've used Reactor many times before but it never really built very much in it so I had a play the other night and um, actually found it quite straightforward surprisingly. Um, and this is what I built over about three hours. A couple of the key synths that you'll get as part of Reactor are Prism and Spark, which are both amazing. The new addition though is Monarch. Now Monarch is a Reactor base built of arguably the greatest mono synth of all time, the Mini Moog. And this is a really great recreation. Big, bold, ballsy bass and lead sounds with the addition of a couple of modern luxuries. And with Complete 9 Ultimate, you also get Scanner XT and Razer. Razer is an amazing new synth made by Aerosmith, and it's probably, I'd say it's probably the best reactor synth to date. Okay, on to samplers. There are two sampling instruments in Complete, Contact and Battery. Contact is a classic do-everything sampler with plenty of modern touches, while Battery is a dedicated drum sampler. So let's have a look at Contact. With a great design and heaps of flexibility, Contact is probably the best software sampler on the market. At 43 gig, the factory library is very impressive, and NI continue to release amazing sample packs for it, many of which are included in Complete, such as session strings, great vintage organ emulations, piano emulations of famous pianos such as the Steinway and the Bosendorfer, and the new Giant, Abbey Road 60s drummer and studio drummer, Scarby MM bass and retro machines. 
One of the key differences between Complete and Complete 9 Ultimate is the amount of included content and naturally this is evident with Contact. And let's have a look at some of the extra packages you get with Ultimate. And to battery. I bought battery, as I said earlier, in the 90s, that was battery one. And in this new version of Complete, there's a new version of battery, which is battery four. Now it's been quite a few years since battery three, and we've been waiting with beta breath to see what they'll come up with. The first thing you'll notice is an updated interface. Drum color coding makes navigation a bit easier. Things such as red for kicks, yellow for snares, and your hi-hats in blue. There are new additions to the library and a redesign effects and modulation section. My favorite two new features are redesign browser with new categorization, which makes things much easier to find, and the new engine that can be switched between sampler or pitch time mode. In sampler mode, it can behave like classics, the Emu SP1200 or the Akai MPC60. So let's talk effects. In recent times, NI has moved more heavily into the effect market. One of the biggest changes in recent times regarding NI's effects plugins is the separation from Guitar Rig. Previously, the only way to access effects was in Guitar Rig, and personally I found that a little bit of a messy way to run things. Guitar Rig is still there and playing to its strengths. Heaps of amp and speaker emulations, plus loads of rack effects, of course, including RAM Fire. Among NI's more recent effects plugs, you'll find emulations of classic analog gear. They've done a really great job with this, staying true to the sound of the originals, while adding a few advantages such as side chaining and parallel compression. Some great examples include the Solid Mix series, which is kind of cheekily based on the SSL 4000 series. That includes the Solid EQ, Solid Dynamics, and the Solid Bus Compressor. There's also the Transient Master and Reflector, which is NI's great convolution reverb. In addition, Ultimate includes Driver, The Mouth, some uh, plugins are made in conjunction with SoftTube, the Reverb Classics, which are Lexicon recreations, and the Tube series, which is the Passive EQ, Very Comp and Enhanced EQ, as well as the Vintage Compressors, the VC2A, 76 and 160. Of course, we have to talk about pricing. Ultimate is approximately twice the price of Complete 9, but both offer an 80% saving over buying the components separately. So as you can see, the name Complete is quite appropriate. This is a studio powerhouse, your one-stop shop for plugins. If you're looking for the best sampler engines and sample libraries, synths that run from classic to wildly futuristic sounds, effects from high-end EQ and dynamics processes to crazy, wigged-out weirdness, then Complete is for you. So the question remains, complete or complete ultimate? I can't stress enough the complete is huge and you'll be doing well to get through everything in there. In my opinion, ultimate is best suited to producers who work with a broad sound palette as all the sample libraries are included. And I keep building their arsenal and I can't wait to see complete 10. Thanks for joining me. My name's Luke Bodich. I'll catch you for another video sometime soon and don't forget to subscribe.